Good morning. I want to share a little bit with you this morning from the Word of God. I've been sitting here talking to the Holy Spirit about the difference between worry and worship. You know, there's a big difference between worry and worship. You know, when we're in the midst of anything that we can worry about, we've been given an opportunity to worship. <laughs> Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But you see, worship is the remedy for worry. Let me, let me share from Psalm 34. Here's what David says. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praise. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who feel helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. That's Psalm 34, verses 1 through 3. David says, I will praise God at all times. At all times. Not just when everything is going my way, but even when things are not going my way. And many, many times in David's life, things did not go his way. People were always envious of him. They were always jealous of him. Even though there were times when he was surrounded by very dedicated, very loyal people, most of the time David had problems with people, or actually people had problems with David. Saul tried to kill him, chased him down to try to kill him after God anointed David to be king. David's own son, Absalom, hunted him down, started a rebellion in his kingdom against David, the king, and David fled for his life rather than fight and destroy his son, Absalom, and those who rebelled against David with Absalom. So David knew life is hard. <laughs> David made many mistakes. David did many things wrong that were not pleasing to God. And that's why David can write, I will praise the Lord at all times. Because he learned through his own personal experience that when you are confronted by situations that are about to overwhelm you, and you don't know where to turn for help, who to turn to for help, David found that instead of worrying about that, I am going to remind myself that God is in control of my life, that God loves me, that God has a plan for my future that is so good it's beyond my comprehension at this present time. We're given an opportunity to worship God in the midst of situations that worry us. Are you worried about the war in the Middle East? Are you worried about World War III? Are you worried about the economy, the open border, the closed pipeline? Are you worried about Russia and China and what's going on in Israel? Are you worried about those things? Are you worried about where you're going to get your next job? How you're going to pay your next monthly rent? Are you worried about your kids growing up in this culture? Are you worried about being old and infirm and having nobody to take care of you? Whatever it is that you're worried about, my friends, let's do what David says here. David says, come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Now listen. He means, let us open our mouths and praise God. You see, that's what praise is. Praise is boasting. Praise is raving about. Praise is celebrating. It's not something you do quietly. It's something you, you do with your vocal cords and your mouth. Jesus said that the innermost thoughts and feelings of the heart of a man are what come out of his mouth. When praise comes out of our mouth, when we boast in the greatness of God, we're connecting with God on a spiritual level that transcends the physical level. When we worship, when we boast, when we declare and proclaim the greatness of God, even in the midst of our problems, we are elevating ourselves 
above those problems. Spiritually, we are giving the Holy Spirit the right and the invitation to lift us up above all that is causing us to worry. Everything that you're worrying about is temporary. And there will always be something to worry about. Why not meet worry with worship instead of wringing your hands and getting all worked up and sad? Remember, God is in charge of your life. Every good thing that you have ever received in your life has come from the sovereign will of Almighty God. And He has eternity planned for you. You. He loves you just because you're you. You're one of His kids. And He does not want you to worry. Jesus said, Come to me with your heavy burdens that are wearing you out. He said, Come to me and I will give you rest. Through the prophet Isaiah, God said, let us talk about this. Come, let us talk about this. Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Are you going to open the door and let me in? My friends, worship is the remedy for worry. I hope if you haven't already developed a habit of worshiping God, of praising God with your mouth on a day-to-day, hour-to-hour basis, I encourage you to do so. I, I, you know, it's great to go to church on Sunday morning and worship God for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour, however long you do it, but our lifestyle as Christians ought to be immersed in worship. We ought to be so thankful and so happy that God has revealed the truth to us about the past, the present, and the future that we worship constantly. Will you do that? I certainly hope so. And don't ever forget, He loves you just because you're you. That's the truth. My name is Mike Green. I'm here to tell you the truth. Hope you have a wonderful day enjoying the presence of our incredibly good Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ and His Holy Spirit. Bless you all. Look forward to chatting with you again soon.